Federal Judicial Center Orientation Series for United States Bankruptcy Judges. A word of welcome to the federal judicial system with the Honorable Rhea W. Zobel, Director of the Federal Judicial Center and United States District Judge for the District of Massachusetts. I am Rhea Zobel, a United States District Judge and currently Director of the Federal Judicial Center. On behalf of the Center, I'm pleased to welcome you to this initial orientation seminar for United States bankruptcy judges. I have already met some of you at the Center and look forward to meeting all of you at the second phase of the Bankruptcy Judge Orientation, a week-long program in Washington. I know that at this point in your new career, your main interest is in learning and understanding your responsibilities. In that connection, I would like to speak with you briefly about the federal judiciary, its governance, and the agencies that will be of service to you. The national policy of the federal judiciary is the sole responsibility of the Judicial Conference of the United States. The Chief Justice chairs the conference. Its members are the Chief Judge of each Circuit Court of Appeals and the Court of International Trade, and the District Judge elected from each regional circuit. The conference meets twice a year in Washington but much of its work is done through some 25 committees composed largely of circuit, district, bankruptcy, and magistrate judges. These committees consider issues relating to the court's budget, human resources, space, security, and automation, as well as amendments to the civil, criminal, bankruptcy, and appellate rules. The federal judicial system is too large and too diverse, however, to be administered solely by a group of people sitting in Washington. That is why much of the system's operation is the responsibility of the judicial councils of the circuits. A circuit council is chaired by the chief judge of the circuit and includes an equal number of court of appeals and district judges. The councils monitor the state of business of the courts and the circuit, including any backlogs. They approve district court operating plans in such areas as juror utilization and court reporters and they play a key role in acting upon complaints charging a judge's disability or misconduct. The chief judge of the circuit also has the statutory duty to call a conference for all judges, usually with members of the bar and at least every other year. These circuit conferences are to consider ways to improve the administration of justice. They are also a valuable bridge between bench and bar and a source of ideas and innovations. Two agencies within the judicial system are primarily responsible for serving you throughout your judgeship. The Administrative Office of the U.S. Courts, usually known as the AO, might be described as the Federal Court's housekeeping agency. It is managed by a director who is appointed by the Chief Justice after consulting with the Judicial Conference. The AO administers the Federal Court's budget. It is responsible for space and personnel matters. It supports the judiciary's automation programs and its libraries. And it collects and publishes extensive statistics on all aspects of the judiciary's activities. The annual report of the director further describes the work of the AO and the various ways that agency can be helpful to you. And now a word about the FJC. The center is the federal court's agency for continuing education and research on judicial administration. Its policies are set by a board, chaired by the Chief Justice. The board's members are six judges elected by the Judicial Conference of the United States, as well as the director of the AO. The center provides orientation programs, like this one, as well as numerous seminars, workshops, and other educational programs on a wide range of substantive and managerial topics. Center programs are developed to serve the needs of judges and their staffs. We will send you information about particular programs for judges as they are scheduled. Our annual report, a copy of which we earlier sent to you, provides details about various facets of our work. You have also received our catalogs of publications and of audio-visual media programs. Some periodicals will come to you automatically, but all items in these catalogs are available to you. 
If there is anything you need and we can provide, just ask us. If you have any comments or suggestions, just tell us. I end as I began by welcoming you to this orientation seminar. In the larger sense, I want to welcome you to the federal judiciary. Membership is a high honor. It is also a serious responsibility. Those who have come before you have served with courage, diligence, and dedication, and they have kept this judicial system viable, strong, and independent. Each of you has now been given a unique opportunity to do your part and to serve our country. I know you will find it challenging and rewarding, and I wish you well. Thank you.